Oh, hello my friends. Welcome back to the golden tree world of Planet Crafter. Yeah, we made a gold tree last episode. It's not as exciting as I thought it would be, but uh, we did it and something else exciting has happened. There is a brand new update to the game that brings us teleporters. So uh, I'm gonna matter manipulate myself and figure out how to do this quickly. Oh, look at that, super alloy rod. That was my nickname in high school. My name's not even Rod. But we have to get the teleporter at 25 GTI, which is gastrointestinal something. Giga terror, terror, I don't know. So you might remember that trusty rusty spreadsheet that I made with a checklist of everything that I was working on. Well, it looks like we just have a few more heaters to do and then we'll launch up some missiles into space so we can build that teleporter. And if you remember, heaters are pretty expensive. They need iridium and super alloy. So we'll gather our iridium. Oh, that's beautiful. We'll trash our non-iridium and gather more iridium so we can trash even more non-iridium. I feel bad about getting rid of raw titanium because I think it'd be fun to have a ingot of raw titanium in real life. Don't ask me. I just have strange hobbies. And once we have it all, we'll just start making some iridium rods. Ooh, there's a super alloy rod. Wow, it's kind of expensive. Now, if you're wondering why I need all that iridium, it's to make these rocket engines. Thankfully, I have a few pieces of uranium left and a whole buttload of super alloy. So I can start crafting up some rocket engines. I also forgot one thing that I might be able to use these blueprints to see if there's anything new in the game to unlock. So let's try that out. Decode a chip. Ooh, a torch tier two. That's flashlight. And map information rocket. Okay. Oh, GPS sat three. Huh. I don't have any more. They're all gone. But the good news, based on science and technology, I can take tree bark from there and here. And an absolute buttload of water from here to mix with some algae to create bacteria samples. And we'll turn those bacteria samples into mutagen. And then we'll collect a bunch more algae to craft up some more bacteria samples. And we'll fly right over to our rocket control structure. And I'm hoping that I can just make these now. Oh, I can. Hello, seed spreader. Now the objective here is that I want to have remote rocket launch capability, but I can't. So I need to check out this oxygen level at 614546. So 600,000. And then if we launch up this rocket, it should go up significantly. Okay, ready, get set, activate. Okay, and then we're gonna build another one right away because it's funny. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, we just built one in another one. Okay. <laughs> go, 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 chase your friend. Chase, you launched the space, you incompetent rocket man. Okay, and then we'll do the other one here. And we'll just make three of them back to back to back. Oh, it's not breaking. Aw, they were supposed to get all derpified. That's okay. I'm gonna try to fly up. Ow, oh, get out. Oh, I'm flying. I'm flying on a rocket. Actually, I'm not. I was sinking, but I thought I was flying. Look at all the grass being spread. There's pollen everywhere. That's fantastic. Can I drink water? I'm gonna die if I don't. Please, 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 please. Water, water, water. I got it. Oh, yeah. This will be nice. Okay, we just moved from uh, 600,000 to 1.5 million. <laughs> yes. It still takes a long time to grow. But I mean, that's literally three times what I had. So I kind of want to blow more rockets up and everything's green and swirly outside. Oh, this is a nice quality of life too. It automatically replants it. Oh, that's so cool. That was one of the most annoying things in this game is having to go back through and replanting everything. Oh, it's glorious. Eggplants for days. I don't know what I need squash for, but I feel like I'm gonna need squash. So I keep building more and more squashes. Oh, fertilizer. Oh, squash for tier two fertilizer. So I guess we'll make some fertilizer too. I don't know why. I just like the idea of making fertilizer. Probably because it uses up less space than tons and tons of eggplants. So I just went to get another big shipment of super alloy. Hmm, maybe too many of them. And my iridium stockpile is fairly nice again. So let's make some more of these beautiful boys. Now, according to my spreadsheet, I need six more heaters. They're kind of expensive, but that's okay. I like expensive things. Hmm, explosive power needs iridium. I only have one of those. Yeah, neat. Thankfully, my mines have a little bit more. Cool, that's nice. And again, we'll just purge everything we don't care about. So I'll grab a bunch of sulfur and craft up a few explosive powders. I will need six eventually, and we'll slap the rest of the sulfur back in here. And we'll put those, I should keep one on me maybe. I can make two of the heaters. Oh, beautiful heaters, this will be wonderful. I believe this goes up to 16 now, if I can math properly. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and then one more right here. Nice, 
I have rows. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, that's 17. That only means I need three more. And I did get all 20 of the tier four drills, so that's cool. Oh, hot dang! I just got the tier spreader, tier tree, true tier, tier two. Wow. <laughs> Words are hard today. Leave me alone. I was trying to figure out here. This one attracts iridium rockets, plus increases our pressure, which is neat. This one attracts uranium and increases our heat. If I start doing that and get uranium, then I don't have to go mine it. Also, more iridium is always a good thing, so let's go ahead and make another rocket engine. Grab a few scraps of silicone and some leftover super alloy. And then we'll see how much our pressure goes up. So this is at 435,000. And we'll craft that boy. Yep, 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 yep. And we'll launch you off into space in a second. Go, 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 go. That's a really sad looking spaceship. Goodbye, little friend. Oh, I tipped it. Sort of. <laughs> so that's gonna summon in an asteroid strike. But the better news at 435,000 went up to 544. So we'll do the same thing for the uranium rocket, I suppose. And I believe that's heat, so that's at 316,000. So we'll craft it. Does that do heat? Is that right? Oh, it's occupied. I think it's heat. Yeah, we'll summon in asteroid strikes. Yeah, that'll work really well. Good job, airplane. And that went up to 422, so nice. That increases our terraform in terraformation index super fast. And we only need like eight more. <laughs> I could just go AFK and let it happen on its own, I guess. For real talk this time, I really just want to pick up the uranium. Iridium. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yes. Yes. So much iridium. Ooh, and there's green shiny rocks now too. Yay. I like exploding green shiny rocks. They make me turn into Superman or something. This is like Easter egg hunting. It's kind of fun. And you go to the playground, you shove the other kids out of the way, and you're like, my Easter egg! And then you get the candy and eat it, and your parents get mad at you because you ate too much candy and your belly hurts. That didn't just happen with my children the other week. Nope. So bright, I just want to touch it. Am I gonna die from lack of oxygen poisoning? Nope, I just barely made it back home. All right, so I didn't really get as much treasure as I wanted to, but I was able to restock uranium pretty well, and I got a little bit of aluminum. Aluminium, sorry, you non-American people. You and your fake numbers and fake measurement systems so all of that fun stuff gives me six more yeah six more iridium rods that i can turn into my final three heaters to give me a total of 20. oh yay another thing checked off the box maybe i want 21 just to make this even or i could readjust it so i have four rows of five that might be a better way or I could just not care and pretend that I never remembered exactly what happened there. 20 check mark. This is also probably a good time to get the rest of my bioplastic nuggets so I can build the last two LG generators that I had on the list. Yep, one right there and one right over here. Beautiful day to be alive. So I think I'm going to craft up another genetic sequence for the golden seed. If I do one of those, one of those, and one of those, that do it, please. Yes, start sequencing. And then we're gonna try to build one of these tier two spreaders, bacteria samples, alloy, fertilizer, tier two. Do I have one of those? Yeah. And eventually I wanna turn these into tier three. And evidently there's now like Ozium caves and zeolite caves. So that could be fun to go find. I kinda wanna get a teleporter made before I do that though. So those should be good to go. I just need to wait on you. So we'll grab that seed. Yes, the plium. That's the golden tree. Now I need to find a nice, beautiful location for our new golden trees. This looks great. I don't really care, honestly. But I do get a lot more oxygen per second, so that's always fun. Really? Do you go on land? Oh, this is a land tree. Interesting. I'm gonna make a grove of trees right here because it's out of the way and it's kind of annoying. There we go, beautiful plum tree. Grow, build me lots of terraformation points. Also, I'm really annoyed by all these grass spreaders. So I'm just gonna kind of get rid of all of this stuff around here and then rebuild it somewhere else. I thought it would be fun to have grass everywhere, but no. Yeah, this is so much easier. Just placing it all away so I don't have these stupid things bothering me all the time. I'm just gonna grow so much grass right here. There's gonna be grass on grass. It'll be perfect. How many more did I need? None? Okay. Okay, I've just moved all of the grass spreaders over there and the flower spreaders here. 
so I can run around without having to trip on things and have allergies. And you know all that stuff. It's spring. Everyone's got it right now. The other good news is my terraformation index is now 22.5. So I need 2.5 more before we unlock the teleporter. Oh, hot dang. I had a, a golden seed in here. What am I doing with golden seeds and good seeds inside of these things? These are for decoration. Let's get the garbage plants and we'll switch the garbage plants out for the big expensive plants. Oh, golden seed, you're delicious. And then we'll turn that golden seed into a nice, beautiful tree seed again. I just recognized that tier two fertilizer takes tier one fertilizer, which is really expensive. So we'll grab all of the eggplants in the entire world and start converting them into fertilizer. I'm also starting to recognize that I'm going to need a lot of water. So I'm just gonna make another lake water collector and then move this one over so it's a little more centrally located. Come here, little friend, I need to move you. We're gonna put you right over here and I'll drop you off in the water and it'll be a nice little swimming pool for you. Also, there's probably a lot of slime in there, so let's go ahead and collect all the slime and we'll drop it all off, even though there's a ton of it. And we just passed a terraformation index of 24, which is awesome in itself. So this is awesome. We have a nice little golden seed forest over here. I'm gonna put in another tier two chi generator right next to it. Shove in another one of the pleom seeds and we have so much more stuff happening right now. And we're only half a GTI away from unlocking the teleporters and I'm dying of lack of oxygen poisoning, lack of water poisoning, whatever it's called. You guys have big fancy words like dehydration and stuff. I'm not that big brained. Oh, that looks so nice. Now my brain is thinking about, where is it? About that teleporter. Am I gonna have to build two teleporters? Am I gonna have to build a teleporter on two sides or one side? Like if I have one teleporter at base, can I choose my destination? Not really sure, but I do know that these things make just an insane amount of oxygen compared to the other one. Yeah, the first one is 920, the second one is 1950. And you put better seeds with it and the game's like, yay, I love you. Well, one thing I'm guessing is these things are going to take this new super alloy rods, which are really expensive. So I'm gonna build two of them, just kidding. I'm gonna build one and hopefully that's enough, but that thing looks super cool. Look at that, it's all shiny and junk. We're so close. We're so close. I can smell the tel- What? Wait. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Teleporter. Okay. Pulsar quartzes, osmium zeolite. That's not so bad. Unless I need to build two. Where do I get the pulsar quartzes from? In here? Oh, do I not have any? Oh, balls. I don't have any. But I think by the powers vested in me, I can figure out how to make them. I just need to remember where to make them. Do I make them here? Ooh, tree spreader. That's where it is. Maybe it's in this thing. Nope, totally not in here. I already checked that. Is it in this one? That'd be weird. How do I make the Pulsar Quartzes again? Which is interesting because it used to be in there. According to the wiki, it changed. So we're gonna have to remove, oh boy, one of these things. I'm pretty sure the nuclear fusion generators have a few of them. Oh, do I have enough power? These things make 1,800. Okay, power, 1,800, no, I don't have enough. Time to make some more nuclear reactors. Or we might need to go just on a little adventure and see if we can find a new cave. There's a rumor that somewhere by the Osmium Cave, there's now a Pulsar Quartz Cave. We have to go into the meteor fields. I don't even know what that means. Is there just a, another entrance? Is this it? Could this be the place? Okay, it got a little bit weird. What is this? Oh, wow, there's a lot of cool things there. I'm stealing it all. And I'm getting rid of the storage crate because I don't like, stop it, I wanna deconstruct it. Thank you, and then we'll just trash that because nobody cares about that. All right, I don't see any Pulsar Quartzes, but I mean, treasure's always nice. <gasps> Ooh, this is the Zeolite cave, isn't it? Because this is definitely Zeolite. I don't even know how to mine it, but it's bright and shiny and I like bright, shiny things. Oh, maybe if I had my mining tool? Uh, nope, I don't know. Oh, there's one. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna pick that, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm guessing I can put an actual mine in here now. Probably a tier two. You know what else? I didn't grab any oxygen. I'm gonna die of lack of oxygen poisoning. Okay, I have literally no idea where I am, but that's cool looking. There a, a way to get out of here? What is the big shiny rock? And why didn't I bring any oxygen with me? Oh, wow. I've done dumbed it up. I realized that game, thank you very much. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I am way too young to die. I'm way too young. Oh, I can make it. I can make it. Yeah. Woohoo. That was fun. Feel like I should maybe go back to base. Grab an extra bottle of ox uh, gin or not. But I can offload all my supplies, which is cool. Let's see if this thing has anything in there. No more blueprints available. It's uh, pretty eerie. 
I have no idea what's happening. Why is the entire world purple? Did I hit some sort of strange threshold in the game? Like even the sun back there got darkened out. That's weird. Am I gonna get a meteor strike? No clue. Okay, I'm guessing this is the meteor crater because it looks sick. Now, is there a cave in here somewhere? I don't know, maybe it, Maybe there's a cave in the meteor. That'd be awesome. Oh, is that a box with free candy inside? Eh, not that exciting. I totally want to know what's in this meteor though. Ooh, ooh, I can go inside of it. I like going inside of things, especially the scarier and more dangerous it is. I can't really go in here. Oh, maybe I can. Wonder if there's something in, in the water around here? Because the wiki says like, cave emerges in the meteor crater and backs up into the osmium cave. Oh. Hot dang, what is this? Like solar panels. Can I deconstruct them? Solar, the tier one. What is this thing? Climb down? Oh, it's dark in here. Dark things are scary. Please don't be any like tremors and creepy things in here. Weird. Can I deconstruct you? Okay, I just have to keep deconstructing doors on my way through. There's no oxygen in here. Awkward. What is this place? Are those free candy pieces? I like free candy. No, there's no free candy in here. Except oxygen containers. Yep, I'll take those. I probably need those right now. And I've come to another door. Deconstruct. Ooh, there's something up ahead of me. Ooh, what is this? Hey, all sorts of things. You've got mail. Sending message, blah, blah, blah. They had problems. Ooh, yoink. Ooh, a double chest. Okay, I don't want to deconstruct it. I want to steal things. Nice. Okay, I'll take that and that, and then we'll put in these two. I'm just gonna deposit all of the iron that I gathered. And by all of it, I mean I didn't really get that much. Fabric, squash seeds neat and it goes down even further this is not what i was looking for by the way game but i don't mind oh yes pulsar quartz i needed you oh no what do i not care about right now definitely these Ooh, i just got an achievement oh wow we have stop it you're in my way oh you're annoying i totally want to take that thank you ah uh, what if i stayed here forever Blah, blah, blah. Strange about this planet. Nonsense. Okay. Words. Lots of words. I can't deconstruct those. There's no seeds in them, but there is another box. Ah, shoot. I don't really even need any of that. Maybe the Tusca seeds? Get rid of the squash. Get the Tusca. I don't need those two. Oh, now we have a maze through some pipes. We're getting so deep into here. Good thing I found more oxygen. It just doesn't end. Okay, cool. We can store junk in here. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. There's so much stuff. Okay, I made it back out. I still didn't find what I was looking for, but I found something cool. Well, this is a bad idea, but I found another cave. Ah, this is a zeolite cave. Oh, this is new. Like a new arches area. Kind of cool. Oh, what's in here? Shiny things? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I'll just take it. Oh, is that another crashed airplane over there too? Okay, we have another area. Is this, this could be it. Oh boy, I just want to go explore everything and it's like, ah, uh, oh, oh. Ooh, another mushroom seed. What is that? Or have I been here? I don't even know. Oh, there's another box. I get so distracted in this game. So many things I want to steal and not enough time to steal it all. Oh, but this looks like another cave here. It's melted, so that's good. Oh, wow. Oh, what is that? Sulfur? What is this? Blue. Osmium? Okay. This is looking good. I haven't seen this place before. I don't care about sulfur right now. Blue shiny rocks. I need pulsar quartzes. Are there two ways to go here? Uh, there's a lot of osmium. Hmm. Okay, things are looking better. Oh, it's purple now. Quartzes are purple. Oh, yes! Is that a, what I think it is? A pulsar quartz. Chris, quartz, it's just quartz? Yes, 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 I need like five of them. Uh, I need up here. Oh, they're kind of rare though, it looks like. Hello, shiny toy, I need you in my life. Please just be like a golden chest in here with 74 of them, that would be cool. And I wonder if they respawn or if you can mine. Probably not. Oh, there's a box. Ah, I don't really have room for that. That was it? I got four out of here? Literally four. Okay, it does come out at the, the crater. Interesting. So the good news is we did get a few more rockets. We also have our fifth pulsar quartz. And if I grab that super alloy bar, I should be able to craft the brand new teleporter. I'm so excited. Okay. Wow, that thing's actually kind of large. Okay. How do I use it? You have to have two teleporters? Ah! Does the game not know how expensive these things are? I really don't like doing this, but I'm gonna have to cannibalize. So let's make some tier two nuclear reactors in here, which are the biggest non-fusion reactors possible. I should be able to build three of these, and I'm hoping that once I fly over here and deconstruct one of these little fellas, I get all of my resources back. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
And nothing shut off, so that's even better. I have Pulse Quartzars for days. And by days, I, I have seven of them, because there's seven days in a week, if you know what I'm saying. So I'll blast in another super alloy rod like that, and we should be good. Okay, we have just barely enough power. Where do I want to place this thing? The only place I can really think of to place it right now is here at the entrance of the super alloy factory. So if I put it down over here, it works. Then we can just teleport back and forth anytime we need to. So let's load up on super alloys. I also don't know why I brought along 37 different types of water, but whatever. So if I hop in here, teleport to my destination. <laughs> oh, that tickled. I want to touch it again. Then I can just drop off all my super alloy. Ooh, there's so many of them. And I can just swiftly jump back into here. Oh, yes. You see the little rings on there? That's awesome. And we can go back up and grab the rest of them. And wow, that just saved so much time. I don't know if it's worth it, but it's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. Anyway, my friends, that'll do it for today's video of Planet Crafter. I hope you enjoyed our little adventure today. If you did, let me know and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of the patrons and YouTube members, including Auto Dave, Beaninator, Ben, Dickie James, Moonstorm, Teddy Hippius, Eagle Art, Destructo Man, Maxor, Spencer T, VC Engineer, Whip It Good, Baron, Fox, Zarnoff, Deegan, Jason L, Rail, Whiskey, Splatter Sacks, Joe B, Doug Rules 2.0, Fury Arrow, Nerdy Geeks, Gunk Chest, Nicorian, Link Hewitt, Brad Elvis, Rob the King, KDF, Dalton C, Blair B, Psycho T, Helvora, MRM Gaming, Terrarian Gamer, and Raphael P.